Hello lovely people, it's Donna here. I'm going to be showing you how to make a TP card. I think there is a thousand videos out there of how to make a TP card and I'm just going to do this one. Um, I think it's cute and look, the more out there the merrier because maybe we all have different tips or or something that you could get from it. Um, if not, well, it's just another video. Okay, oh, let's get to work. I have got everything cut out, ready, so it doesn't waste your time. Uh, I, I'm a yakker, my apologies. Um, and I do go um and so a lot. And I'm trying to get out of that, but you know what? It's nearly impossible to do so. Okay, so what I've actually done is I've cut three... 10 by 10 centimeters um, out and I've, I've used cream cardstock um, but you can use white whatever base color that you really want mine today is cream and I've actually inked the whole thing so I've inked each square and what I've also done is I've actually scored a line on the diagonal down there and I've done that for the whole three pieces to put the card together is really simple if you remember to do a big triangle, um, and then you won't go wrong. Okay, so it's just a triangle for the two pieces. And I've inked mine because I love inking things. I think it just makes it a little bit better, but it is an individual choice. I've used just a bit of double-sided tape there to keep this bit together until, until I attach the third piece. Um, a little trick I learned and it's not for everybody but if you can do it without it look go for it but what I've done is that I've actually put that there I've got a pencil and I've just drawn a line on there and the reason I've done that is because I know this is where my adhesive goes uh, we don't want adhesive on them at the moment okay I, you can color all, um, cover all this first with your panels, but look, I have to be honest, I'd rather put the base card together and then actually put the panel, um, panels on, but you can please yourself, okay? So look, we're just going to, I'll take this double-sided tape off there, so it's just an extra little bit of adhesive. Oh, nearly made that mistake, didn't I? And I'm just going to put some Tombow glue on here. And as you can see, you don't need a lot of it. And I'm actually keeping in them two lines that I did with the pencil. Right, so we'll just put that. So you're making a triangle on top of a triangle. And you can go as close to the top as you want. You can leave a little bit of space, whatever you'd like to do. So that's actually put that together. That is your base card. It really is that simple. Um, I'm actually going to rub these lines out. So forgive me for a moment just so I rub them out. You can leave them, but I'd rather rub them out. It just makes it a little bit neater. That's all. I've done my pa panels. Now the panels, the card base itself is 3 10 by 10 centimetres. The panels I've used are squares and the cardstock is maroon, cardstock from um, Basil or Bravo Burgundy I think it is. No, it is, it is actual um, maroon. The square itself measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters uh, that's inches and what I've done I've cut it down on the diagonal and that's the maroon the pattern paper I've actually put on it that measures at three and a half inches by three and a half inches you need to cut two of these uh, as in the square and again I've cut that on a diagonal you'll find that it fits quite nicely then uh, as your mats so I'm actually going to adhere these now. Again using my Tombow. And they're really easy to do. So if you do uh, a pattern paper that is 
um, complicated with the patterns you must remember that once this card folds up it could be upside down so you really do need to be aware of what pattern paper you use so you can see how easy that's all fitting together and the back panels and you don't need a lot of Tombow glue and it dries quickly you still have enough time to push it into place and it dries clear and it also um, doesn't buckle your paper and you don't need a lot of it and it dries quite quickly forgive me I'm going to just move this card around so I can place my panels on it's just starting to look pretty already isn't it what do you think yeah now these little squares go in here I've seen people leave them but look oh, I think just to finish the card off you need to do them and the squares themselves measure the maroon measures one and three eighths inches by one and three eighths inches and the pattern paper is one and a quarter inches by one and a quarter inches and I've simply just cut that in half both of them uh, and adhered them together and it's not rocket science really yes you know I'd never make a scientist because I'm too scatterbrained and I'm not smart enough but but um, it, it this isn't rocket science you cut squares cut them on a diagonal and there you've got your your patterns like I said you've got a few moments to to um, adjust and that your panels placed on That's pretty isn't it now you need to fold that over and my scorer is disappeared um, so I'm just going to use a ruler at the moment if you do your scoring so it goes to show you don't really need a scorer um, but you can use your ruler um, I love this ruler by the way it's from Tim Holtz and I just think it's wonderful it's very clear shows me what I can um, can do and one thing I like about it, it's got like the measurements you've got a zero right in the middle so you can measure on that on either side that's a brilliant rule I love it okay so there's your card and that, that's basically it I mean simple as now I do mine with velcro join them together you can use um, ribbon um, if you're going to do the ribbon I'd place the ribbon underneath your panels um, and then just tie it here and look it's, it's up to you it's an individual thing um, I want to work out where my placement is going to be and that's it wow simple now I've already prepared a couple of embellishments I did this flower and um, the flower is from Cheery Lynn Designs and they were the Darling Daisy flowers and the stack of flower leaf um, so I've just done that um, and I'm going to put that so on this side I tend to work more on the left side for some reason but you can put that uh, on the right side the left side wherever you like I've also cut this out from the same paper and the paper is definitely um, beautiful it's the most gorgeous paper it's from Heartfelt Creations and it's Antique Collection so you just put that under there having it straight actually helps and I like something on my sides you don't need to but I've just actually punched out a couple of the circles from this actual paper and I just um, I've used dimensional magic 
and I've once I've punched them out I have used Dimensional Magic to give them some shine and put double sided tape on it how simple is that that card's now finished that's what it looks like you can go that side you can go that side you can do whatever you like um, but that's my front I've used a little bit of kinder glitz on the flower just to give it a little bit of interest uh, otherwise it sort of goes really boring now you get when you give this as a gift I'll just quick to show you that's the another one using the same paper but um, different pattern on it and different flowers okay. I give this as a gift I would cover the inside okay and you could actually cover the inside it just gives it a little bit more finished um, effect but here I'd put a white panel on here and just to write on so they can see it a little bit clearer uh, again and I've just used uh, Velcro to join it together and this measures here at inside three and three quarters by three and three quarters and again I've just scored it in the middle and I've actually inked it just to give that little bit more interest this here all you need to do is is um, draw a line on your bit of pattern paper and cut it out oh, it's real, really really easy to do hope you've enjoyed that hope it hasn't been too boring for you and if it is look you can always turn me off I mean it's pretty simple isn't it okay bye